Okay, I'm at the West Hampton Yacht Squadron. Today we're going to be uh, evaluating the dinghy bob up there. And to truly evaluate it, it's uh, you have to have capsize. And uh, I don't really want to capsize, but we gotta we gotta do it and make sure this thing doesn't turn turtle. And uh, I'm not a big fan of capsizing. Hopefully, hopefully things will go okay. All right, all right. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, this is Lee here. Have you ever capsized your boat and it started to turn turtle? What that really means is when the boat turns upside down and the sail is directly underneath the hull. And that's called turning turtle. It's not a fun thing to really do for the most part, especially if you don't want to be capsizing your boat. A lot of people have a hard time getting their boat up. Now part of sailing a small boat like a laser or a sunfish or an RS Aero is that they are made to capsize. And for the most part, they're pretty easy to get back up. However, sometimes it can be a little bit more of a problem getting the boat upright. And after a while, you might not want to capsize. It might not be fun for you. Now, in some certain instances, you want to capsize the boat. For instance, when you're wanting to learn how to upright a boat. And another thing is sometimes it's just fun to get wet and capsize the boat and ride it up. And you see a lot of times in lessons that they do this and, and it becomes a fun thing. You're in the water, you're not necessarily sailing, but it can be fun. Now I reached out to Kent Mysegades. I saw that he developed a product that helps people prevent turning turtle. Kent is the founder and president of AeroSouth Technologies, which I think is the most innovative sunfish parts company in the world. You might have seen his products in my previous videos. For instance, he had the Extreme Vertical Rudder, which I did a review on a previous video, so you could check that out. And he also developed a dagger board that reduces drag. Now, being the most innovative sunfish parts company in the world means that these parts are not class legal. However, if you want to have fun, if you want to have a different feeling boat, check out his products. You might be interested in them. I'll leave a link down below. Now addressing a concern that he and other sailors have is that they didn't want to turn their boat turtle. Sometimes a boat just capsizes and it continues to roll and now it's upside down and hopefully the dagger board is sticking right up. So you can climb on top of the boat and then write it back up. However, turning turtle is something that people don't want to necessarily do because it's a little bit more effort to climb up on top of the boat and to get the sail to rotate underneath all that water and then get it back up. So Kent and Aerosol Technologies has developed a product that is designed to prevent turning turtle and he calls it the dinghy bob. So what Aerosouth says, it helps prevent your boat from turning turtle. When you're upright, you're on the water more and so you can enjoy sailing more. He claims it's a nice low drag. Since he's a aeronautics engineer, he made it kind of like teardrop shape so it could cut through the wind. It also rotates. In the future, he's developing ways to make it into a wind indicator. However, at this point, it's really made for preventing turning turtle. I'm gonna show you how this installs on the upper spar. It's a pretty easy installation once you figure out how to do it. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to do it. Also, it needs no modifications to your mast or your spars. You don't drill any holes and it uses quick release straps or a quick release zip tie. So you can take it on and off your mast pretty easily and store it away. It's also made of plastics and stainless, and you supply stainless steel screws so there is no potential for rust. And with all the AeroSouth technologies, this is made in the United States down in North Carolina. So before we get to the dinghy bob, I'd like to thank all the subscribers who subscribe to the channel. And if you like small boat information, especially with the sunfish, and you haven't yet subscribed, please press that button down there, the subscribe button, and you'll know when we come out with a new video. And now to the video. Okay, we capsized the boat. Oh, it's actually going pretty good. I'm sitting here like a dry step. This. All right, I capsized this boat. I got the dinghy bob working. Okay, I'm gonna lean. I'm leaning. Yeah, I'm leaning. 
Yeah, thanks. So this, I'm wondering if this, there's going to be a lot of torque on this sail. It's still, it's holding good. This is good. This is actually, I, I like this thing. Now let's see if we can dry stuff this without, without killing my GoPro. Yeah, I'm testing out this, this thing to prevent turning turtle. It's working. Oh yeah, I could get that. That's some Gatorade. Yeah, now, now I don't want to get wet. <laughs> All right, so it works. So no, no dirt on the mast or the top. That would have been good. That would have been really good. Yeah, it seems like now it's kind of well, it's going. We'll see. I'm I'm pretty impressed there. Or Arrow South. Aerosol Technologies made this, and I'm, I'm pretty much leaning. I'm not gonna fall in, but it's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna write this boat. Thank you. All right, so that was easy to get back up. Woo. That was sweet. That, this thingy, Bob. Let's see if there's any damage when I get up to shore. It, uh, I, I raced with it today. I I finished in the top uh, three each race. I was. Uh, sailing against um, PJ Patton and his son Nick, who are really, really fast sailors. So um, it doesn't really actually make them slower because they usually beat me. So, uh, man, it, this is uh, it's an impressive product. I, I, I have to say that. If you're afraid to turn turtle, this this will prevent you from turning turtle. I'm weighing uh, 195 pounds right now. I was leaning over onto the capsized sail. It, it was stable, stable. I'm not sure if it would bend the spar if you really stood on it, but right now it looks pretty good. I'd like to thank the people down at the West Hampton Yacht Squadron for stopping by and seeing if I was okay after I capsized the boat. They stopped by and made sure I was okay, so that's awesome. Thanks a lot for that. Last week at the West Hampton Yacht Squadron during the fall series racing, there was some pretty heavy wind between 15 and 20 miles an hour. And there was some gusts that rolled down the bay and I saw three boats capsize and they all turned turtle and they were sticking their, the tops of the sails in the mud. They would have actually benefited from the dinghy bob in that situation because it would have been a lot easier for them to not stick their sail in the, in the mud, which took a long time to get back up. It would have taken them less energy to get the boats back up. So in situations where you're sailing in marginal conditions, heavy conditions, you might be a little bit on the smaller side so it's it's harder for you to get the boat back up. If you're a little bit um, not as flexible, I would recommend the dinghy bob. It, it worked really nice. It rotates up there. Um, it doesn't rust and when I take it off I'm going to see how, how it held up but it, it's still up there it's rotating nicely it's pretty impressive so it does point into the wind and it does rotate so I'm gonna turn so I'm bluffing. And I'm gonna turn away from the wind you see how it keeps on facing into the wind Kent Meisgates is the designer and inventor of this and he's a he's uh, into aeronautics and aviation so having very little drag and aerodynamics is very important to him and uh yeah it does pretty good all right now i'm sailing by the lee which means the air is hitting the leech first rather than the luff and then you can see the the dinghy bob indicating that too so that's the dinghy bob
And we could use these. This little tan makes it reusable. These slots here. Push it through, I guess. Tighten it up a little bit, and I wanted to rotate that. And there you go. One thing that's important about these removable straps and the zip ties is that if you use a sail bag, this will definitely not fit in a sail bag. So it's really important to have these, these items here so you could take it on and off. If you don't use a sail bag, I'm not sure if you just want this laying around. I guess it's not really a problem unless you're stacking it up on something. We'll see if there's any water leakage out of out of these uh, screw holes. It was reported to me by Kent that this would take on just a little bit of water, but he had no, on his test, he had no issues with water filling this up. And you have this, this screw over here, which can drain out any type of water just in case. It's not the easiest thing to take off. It's easier if you uh, pull it down with your finger, push it, and it's not really a big issue. There's a grip, this red gasket. There's a gasket on here, it kind of grips it, so you need a little bit of effort. Let's try this one. This one's pretty stuck on. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna bend this back, put my finger on that tab. And it's not the dinghy boss, well, it's this, uh, uh, what do they call this? Grip Lock Ties, trademark. Grip Lock Ties, it says right here. These work really good. Oh, and with only the simple fact is they, they lock tight. And theoretically, there we go. Theoretically, you could reuse these, so. Once it's loose, then you can pull it back in. And then it actually goes out pretty easy. All right. I'm gonna try the metal one now. Okay. Just like the metal. In here. And there we go. Okay, so how this quick release metal works so this screw rotates so when it rotates up like this it creates a gap uh, so that gap that gap right there tighten it up with hand pressure as much as possible this is obvious i'm doing this as a dry run before you tighten it you want this around the spar and then after you get most of it in you turn that and it's stuck in there and then you could fine tune it with a flathead screwdriver and then it'll tighten it. All right. So now to remove it, you pull this and that should come out. Put this around here. Now you want to make sure that you don't grab your head tie, your head sail tie. You want to make sure your strap is going to be attached to the spar and not any of the sail or the sail tie. It. And once I get it close, I'm gonna push this down and that pretty much locks it in. Flathead screwdriver here. And then we'll do the second one. You can trim this off. You could file it, shape it. You could trim it with metal shears, tin snips, or a hacksaw and then you could file the sharp edges down. You could leave, you could really leave it, but 
depends on, on how you feel. This actually might be easier to do. Just say if you want to take this off. That's it. All you have to do is, is turn it and then that actually quick releases. So that's, that's pretty cool actually. I, I kind of like these metal things because they're, they were a little bit easier to remove than this. But it is metal and it can be sharp if you don't smooth it out. With the ends of these, the, the manufacturer gives you this edge clamp aid. And then after you trim it or not trim it, you could slide these on to give it a nice smooth, soft edge. So we're gonna put this on the boat and we're going to sail with it. I might have to capsize the boat to really test it out. Actually not looking forward to capsizing the boat. Now what's really cool about AeroSouth and Kent Mice Gates, he's really open to suggestions. If you have any suggestions or comments about the dinghy bob, the rudder, the dagger board, or any of the products that he's made, the main sheet hangers, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to be make sure that Kent gets to see them. So if you're curious on the dinghy bob or any other products, I'll leave links down in the description below. So there you go. There was my review of the AeroSouth Technologies dinghy bob. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I read all the comments. And if you enjoyed this uh, content, you got any value from it, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you know when I come out with a new video. Thanks, and I'll see you on the water.